okay, I found a local shop today that carries a lot of uh, AR parts. Uh, it's just like going to a Midway USA almost. He carries a lot of U AR parts, which is probably a bad thing for me because I'm already thinking about my next build now. Uh, but while I was there, I picked up a bunch of the little things that I hadn't ordered yet. I already have a Yankee Hill upper and a Yankee Hill uh, handguard coming in the mail. It should get here tomorrow or uh, should get here tomorrow or Monday. Uh, so I picked up a couple of other little things there. I picked up a Yankee Hill flash hider, uh, a low profile uh, gas block. Uh, this is one of the little th end jobbies that screws into the uh, end of the handguard to keep debris out of the end of the handguard. I bought one of those. And of course a charging handle. I got a uh, chrome bolt carry group here. Looks pretty nice. I thought that would look nice since I'm going to have the stainless barrel. I went with the chrome uh, bolt carrier. It was only like $20 more. Of course, got the buffer spring and the uh, buffer assembly here. And got an extra one of the little end plates for the back end because I'm, I have two different uh, buffer tubes. I got this buffer tube, which is more of a standard buffer tube. It has the foam covering. Kind of nice. Uh, uses the, the uh, traditional attachment method. But I also got another one, and I'm trying to decide which one that I want to use. I also got this one from Rock River Arms. As you can see, it is minus the little nut right here. Uh, mounts straight onto it, screws right in. I like the looks of it. Doesn't quite match the gun perfectly, but not enough of a difference to bother me. Uh, it's got a fluted end, but there is no padding on it, so if you want to do a cheek weld, it's not going to be nearly as comfortable for a cheek weld. So I'm trying to decide between do I want to leave this one on there, or do I want to switch over to this one? Now on the uh, Rock River Arms one, it's a lot cleaner. You don't have any of this here. It doesn't have this mechanical look to it. Uh, but like I say, it doesn't have the foam pad. And this one actually matches the uh, lower better and the upper better. So I'm kind of torn between which one. I'm probably going to end up going with this one because even though the other one is cleaner, this one has a little more, you know, looks so you can see uh, threads and stuff. That doesn't really bother me because it's an AR. Because AR, so ARs very, look very mechanical to me, so I don't mind having that thing sticking out right there. Uh, but uh, which one do you think I should use? you think I should use the Rock River Arms or you think I should use this one? And I forget who makes this one here. Uh, but uh, it's a good looking buffer, fits well, uh, has the foam padding for a cheek weld. So it does have some advantages and some disadvantages. Both of them have their advantages and disadvantages. So uh, which one do you think I should use? I'm kind of leaning towards this one right now, but I'd love to hear opinions.